This is Betsy Wiersma, and a wonderful thing happened during COVID. We had a COVID baby. A baby, a COVID baby. What are we talking about? Well, while all of us were hunkered down and being safe and being socially distanced, 62 brave women came together to share their story. 62 women said yes to writing a thousand word essay to uplift and inspire the world. 62 women brought the ingredients of their best self. Those ingredients were perseverance. Those ingredients were uh, joy. Those ingredients were, mm, gosh, it's such a yummy mix, it's hard to even capsulize them. But they all had one thing in common. Those women with those yummy ingredients mixed together, stayed in the crock pot for four months and became a most yummy stew. Welcome to the Stew Authors. We are so happy to greet everyone as we are here today. And we are so happy to welcome the world to hear some of the stories behind the scene of the stew. So this was going to be a live event, uh, but because of the COVID opportunity, we get to have a virtual event. And since everything works out in our favor, I think the good news about this is we can be now here live on Facebook and record this so people can hear and meet some of our amazing Stu authors. But for today, we have gathered some of the authors of the Stu, Smart Talk Exceptional Women. That is a book that came together during COVID. We lovingly call it the COVID baby. Um, and it was conceived by 62 women that were lucky enough to say yes to Betsy, bothering them to write a thousand word essay in the middle of the COVID lockdown. And now we are taking this to the world. Next up, Jill Farquhar, who has been uh, just such an amazing supporter of the stew. She has bought numerous copies to spread around town where she does her philanthropy. Uh, she is a bright light. Jill, welcome to being author number two on the interview. Thank you. We're so glad to have you. So introduce yourself to the world and tell them the title of your story. Well, good morning. My name is Jill Farquhar, and my Stu's story title is Leave What You Were, Bring What You Are. Well, I remember when you first said that title, you were very specific. A matter of fact, a behind the scenes note is <laughs> we had to edit that to be sure we got it exactly right. So tell everybody a little bit about this very, Jill, very heartfelt and impactful story. Well, I think what I've, well, I know what I've written about is um, my belief that living our life fully involves trusting and engaging in transformative change, um, both individually and collectively, rather than um, just in sheer survival mode. Well, okay. That sounds like a very simple <laughs> statement for a very <laughs> complex story. So why, Jill, would a nice girl like you ever have to be in survival mode? Is that a setup? Is that a little bit of a setup to your life? But, um, but I think it's really important because, again, you're somebody who is at the top of your game. You are a jewelry maker. You make salsa and sell it. You close amazing, huge business deals. And so people think uh, they make up stories. People like you, like that Jill, super easy, road to the top, no hard work. But you have had some trials and tragedies along the way, sister friend. So what part of your story would you share today why you really have stood in this, this um, very important breakthrough? Well, um, as you've referenced, I have experienced uh, several, <laughs> maybe it's even more than that, substantial um, traumatic events in my life. And I have been referred to, therefore, as a survivor. Um, but over time, I came to regard that term as confining and its definition. And um, I seek to redefine what I've come to believe can be a more empowering role through trying, through trying times in our lives. Well, um, would you be willing to share one example? Um, <laughs> trying to think of what comes to light. Gosh, one of, one of the, one of the oldest is what comes to light today. And that's just, um, when I needed to, um, recover my daughter from foster home and some of the ensuing poverty around that would, would be one of the times in my life. 
Well, and I said lives plural. Yeah, I think you have. And if you read her story and just for reference, it's on page 168 and 169 in the stew, which is smart talk, exceptional women. Um, You know, you came through programs to help you when you were struggling, you brought your family back together and you have stepped up to pillars of service. And what about going through that Jill has made you the philanthropist you are today? Because I think what the stew tries to say is no matter where you are, no matter what you got going on, there's something that's a gift, even in the worst tragedy. Unfortunately, we're so sorry you've lost your father recently. You've just been through so many things, you know, but from that you lead on you lead on. You drive the stew book across town to that charity CEO because you know they need it. So what is it inside you that that hardship made you a philanthropist? I truly believe that that view that I um, came to see, which is was over many years, many years and being able to be retrospe- retrospective, um, was that if you know, when things are really working at their their best individually and collectively for for us, it, it is a, a wheel of we're taking turns. You know, sometimes we're the one that needs to learn and needs to have things given and taught. Sometimes, if it's working well, it we get to take the turn where we're trying to to pass on some of our lessons and to give and to um, have that exchange. And, and that's that big, larger view of exchange that I do believe when things work best in the world, that that's what's happening. We're each taking turns at different times in our life, playing these various roles. And they're essential to play, all of them. Sometimes we think the only essential role is the giving and caretaker and giving back role. But believe me, there, there's many times where we're called on to, to be the student and we need to sometimes learn how to, to accept more graciously than we're comfortable accepting. Well, I think you hit on a very important topic for women, which is accept more graciously than we're used to accepting, right? I can see all my stew authors nodding to that because we, we lead the charge. I mean, Lord, help us that we need help. And the good thing I think about this book and the good thing about women standing with and for women is it's that hand up, but it's also that hug. It's also that unconditional love of where you stand today. And I think your title, Leave Where You Were, Bring What You Are, really captured that well. Jill, so lastly, if there's one thing you want women of the world to know, what would you tell all of them? Because with Facebook Live, they're probably listening in Australia, and we got a few in Norway, I know for sure. We've got Belinda. So what would you tell these women? Probably that we don't travel alone through our lives journeys, no matter how lonely um, they may sometimes feel. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jill, for not only being in the stew book, but all the things you've done, the creative philanthropy that we've done together, selling clothes, all kinds of crazy things. Uh, You are such a bright light. Thank you for being part of the stew and thank you for being on our live broadcast today. Thank you for having me. So to end today, I want to do a shout out to our friend, Cindy Tyler. She was not able to join us on the call today. Cindy Tyler's company, Vervante, is the publisher of The Stew. And this is how this worked. I was with a random person one day saying that I wanted to put my art into a card deck. And she was only sent to me for that interaction to tell me, have you heard of Vervante? It's a women-owned publishing company that helps people's dreams come true. And I never, ever saw that person again, right? It's one of those angels that dropped into my life to deliver one purpose, to tell me about Vervante. So the, be- the great backstory is I call and I say, hey, I'm an artist. I have these angels I've been making. I like to make a card deck. And um, I've got an, a marketing idea. What if I put Vervante on the card deck? Can I negotiate a better deal in my printing? And the person on the other end of the phone says, yeah. And I said, well, don't you have to ask your boss about that, or, you, know, it, you know, to get a better deal? And she said, I am the boss. This is Cindy Tyler. I'm the creator of Vervante. I love your enthusiasm. I would love to partner with you. I'll give you a good deal on your card deck. Let's go. 
And that was now before two card decks, three journals, you know, five sets of cards, holiday cards, and the creation of the stew. And this illustration is just to say to everyone listening that it's about the journey and the people you ask for help, right? Christy's got a curricular come curricular curriculum easy for me to say curriculum coming out in 2021 when you might be listening to this podcast uh you know there's it's it's because of everyone standing together that we help each other we find the resources we need and it's because of these amazing authors that we have the stew so just to recount at the end of our telecast today the stew is smart talk exceptional women it is a 200 page art and insight book uh the art is mostly by me there's a couple pieces by others we can all hold up our stew books um and the art was done in intention to create a really small book. But when I thought and prayed about it, I heard that book is about your girls. That book is all your girls. So everybody hold up your book. I'm going to snap a quick picture because we are multitasking. This is a so good picture. I got to wait for just a second as Christy gets her book. Um, so this book was created to be a gift to people of the world. It is 62 stories of women who write uplifting insights and ideas, and it is available at campexperience.com forward slash shop. That's campexperience.com forward slash shop. And uh, yes, it is arts and insights. This do smart talk, exceptional women, and it is available at any time. It's available now. It goes to the Vervante bookstore uh, and you will be able to get your copy. We will have events in the future. Jill has a great idea about a book club event. Uh, Christy will help us join together and celebrate as a VIP event as soon as we can join together. Um, and so many of the authors have such good work in the world. So check them all out on campexperience.com forward slash the stew. And we appreciate all of the time and the energy for the authors coming together in this digital format. We appreciate the heartfelt sharing of your story. We appreciate your love and support for this cr crazy project. Uh, again, we call out Megan Osgood, the organizer. We call out Carol Calkins and Carrie, her associate uh, editor. We call out Melissa Labad, the amazing designer that made this happen. And we call out and say thank you to all of you who are supporting women coming together for art and insights for the world. This has been your hostess and Stu mother, organizer, curator, Betsy Wiersma, and the authors from the Stu. And we look forward to more times we can come together to share as we do good and have fun. Thank you so much for enjoying this call today and have a wonderful, wonderful journey in your life, uplifted and inspired by others who are all here happy to help you.